Wundervollen guten Morgen. Schön, dass ihr wieder dabei seid. Das freut mich. Ach, gucken wir doch mal gerade ein bisschen Tatjana an. So, danke, reicht. Jetzt schauen wir mal. Ähm, das haben wir uns schon angeschaut. Netz der Lügen, da fehlt noch ein bisschen was. Und hier auch. Okay, schade. So, ausgerüstet sind wir soweit. Gucken, funkt uns mal wieder jemand an. Hallo? Hm, schade. We need to talk. Sure. Let's talk. It's about my mother. Rather, about what she found. I didn't tell you this before, because I didn't know if I could trust you. I, I think I know why they took my mom. She was dangerous to NAR. It wasn't a coincidence. She saw something. Even took a photo. You see, when NAR first came here, they pretended to be friendly. They offered free examinations to several sample shells, and even promised my mother medical assistance. It was all a ruse, of course. My mother was invited to their lab, and she ended up seeing something she wasn't supposed to. Um, okay. She was inside their lab. You should have told me about this sooner. Do you know what she saw? They were running experiments with Chernobyl light on human subjects. All volunteers, of course. Soon after that, people started vanishing, my mom included. Do you still have the photo? No. My mom always kept it on her. Is there any other proof to back up your mother's account? No, but I can't see my mother lying about something like that. She only ever had the Samuel Shell's best interests at heart. Hmm. My mother was the least selfish person I've ever known. She wanted to help everyone who suffered from the Chernobyl disaster in any way she could. She paid the ultimate price for her kind heart. Now, I have to find out why and make this right. I get it. Really. She sounds like an amazing lady. How can I help? I know it's a lot to ask, but I need to know what my mother saw in that lab. I need you to go to Lenin Square and get inside. There must be something there incriminating NAR. This will help your search for Tatiana as well. If she's in the zone, she must somehow be part of all of this. It won't be easy, but I'll definitely try. Ah ja, okay. Sie haben auf jeden Fall Versuche gemacht. Das ist natürlich... Hm. Ready for another gig? Ähm, jo. Ich bin immer bereit. Igor. A moment, please. I heard you talking to our she-wolf here. You don't want to go to Lenin Square. I don't think you're ready. Who knows what you'll be up against? I think I've proved myself quite capable, no? You can harness the power of Chernobylite. An impressive feat. But what if they find a way to disable it? So, ich weiß deine Besorgnis zu schätzen, aber ich kann jetzt nicht zögern, oder? Er hat recht. Es ist wirklich gefährlich. Hat er eine bessere Idee? Ich beruhige ihn. probably right. What do you propose? I'll do it. With a broken arm. Besides, we have no idea what we'll find. It's very likely we'll need my scientific expertise to assess the situation. I'm not a complete imbecile, you know. I can tell the difference between a centrifuge and a... I don't know, kitchen robot? Of course you can, Olivier. Don't take this the wrong way. But I still think I should be the one to go. Ist ja wirklich nett von ihm, aber ähm, ja, wie gesagt, mit seiner Schlabberhand kommt er eh nicht weit, ne? Ohne das böse zu meinen. So, haben wir denn genug Muni dabei? Ich finde, Gewehrmunition könnten wir uns einfach noch ein Päckel einstecken oder zwei. Könnten uns eigentlich auch mal welche machen. Das war nur die Frage. Ja, ja, neu sortiert. Was kann man hier... Ja. Doch wieder erkannt. Ein Pegel. Ja, das sollte mal reichen. Oder? Jo, so sieht das gut aus. Das heißt, wir haben alles dabei, was wir brauchen. Das finde ich prima. So, ich fange jetzt gar nicht an, erst sort zu sortieren, sonst... So, jetzt bin ich gespannt. Zentrum von Pripyat. Die Wahrheit über Nahexperimente. Olga bat mich, die Nahlabore am Leninplatz zu überprüfen. Das ist für sie persönlich sehr wichtig. Okay. 
Okay, hier gibt es Medikamentenabwurf. Also das hier mache ich auf jeden Fall, das ist klar. Medikamentenabwurf, komm, das kannst doch du machen. Das könnte er machen. Und was könnte sie mal machen? Sie könnte mal den Essensabwurf machen, oder? Dann sind wir alle mal beschäftigt. Das nennt man Arbeitsteilung und los geht's. Die Wölfin, warum nennt er sie It die Wölfin? Olga's mother was onto something, something that got her killed. Could it be the key to finding out about the NAR's plans? Just be very careful, my love. I feel you getting closer to the heart of evil. Soon you may reach a point of no return. Ja, ich bin gespannt, ob dem wirklich so ist, ne? Aber ich muss sagen, das letzte Level, der Rote Wald, hat mir echt gut gefallen. Sowohl von der Geräuschkulisse als auch ins... Ah, wir sind wieder auf dem Spielplatz. Sehr geil. Das freut mich. Hier ist bestimmt wieder einiges los. Okay, ansonsten ist auf der Map nicht viel los, ne? Nein. Wir müssen diesmal in die Richtung. Okay. Up for the lab, Igor. Should be in the middle of NAR's camp. See if you can slip in unnoticed. Don't get in any fight unless you have to. Sure thing, Mom. And don't worry. I've got my sweater. You've got some issues, don't you? Okay. Now's not the time to get distracted. Locate the lab and try to reach it without drawing attention. You don't want to fight all these guys at once. Wie sie alle besorgt sind um mich, ne? Ist ja echt niedlich. Ah ja, nice. Das ist auch ein guter Heckenschützenplatz hier. Okay, das war's hier wohl schon, oder? Geht's hier oben auch noch hoch? Eieieiei. Ach, so ein Sessel besitze ich auch. Cool. Tja, nix zu holen hier da. Unbemerkt reinkommen. <lacht> das ist meine Spezialität. Nicht. Ach, zu sehen ist mal nichts, ne?
bin sehr gespannt. Was ist das, frage ich mich. den Weg hier nehmen können. Oh, der ist über mir scheinbar. Der ist ein bisschen wie Darth Vader, oder? Who? Who are you? What are you doing in here? That man on the phone. Who was it? Your... Your Kiminyuk. Dear God, please don't hurt me. I asked you a goddamn question. My boss, you mean? I, 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 I don't know his real identity. Uh, almost nobody does, I swear. Do you really want to play it this way? I can see you're scared, and rightfully so. But it seems you're deliberately trying my patience. No, not at all, sir. Uh, please, I, I can't tell you what I don't know. But I can tell you other things. Just ask. Just don't kill me. I can be useful. You'll see. Vanya, my patience is wearing thin. Where are those damned chemicals? Mm hmm. Hmm. Answer him, but casually. Relax. Yes. Yes. I. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll send them right away. Apologies for the delay. Spare me the excuses and move! I need that core as epoxide and I need it now! You two, continue without me. I hope for your sakes you don't screw this up. It would be best if you forgot I was ever here. Of course, of course. I won't tell a soul. Na gut. War, glaube ich, nicht die schlechteste Entscheidung. Stash. Ach, das da, ne? Nee, das ist es nicht.
So, wo muss ich denn hin? Ich muss da rüber kommen. Das ist natürlich nur die Frage. <lacht> Müsste jetzt hier ins Erdgeschoss kommen? Hier das Item links? Ne. Ah, die Geräusche sind schon geil gemacht. Hey, hat er viel Zeug dabei. Krass. Wen wollt er denn anrufen? Das hätte er wohl gern. Na, kommt er nun, oder? I detected the echo of a recent case. It is not going to end well. You're full of surprises. But it's not over yet. Okay, war ich das? Der kommt mir so unbekannt vor. So. Sind die nicht mehr hinter der Scheibe? Doch, oder? Naja, ah doch, alles gut. Für einen Moment dachte ich, oh, scheiße. Die D 
Dinger sind echt übel, ey. Okay, ähm, weiter geht's. Ist hier irgendwas? Nein. Ich muss da oben hoch. <lacht> Hier komme ich wohl nicht raus. Hm? Ja, ich muss da hoch. Da komme ich nicht drum rum. Ach, war ja klar, dass die Eingänge auf der anderen Seite sein müssen. Look at the tissue structure. This used to be a liver, if you can believe it. We need to collect samples. The brain is hyperactive. Look at the chart. But it still doesn't respond to any stimuli. The previous subject had quite a different reaction. What's behind this difference, I wonder? Age? Sex? Vanya? Finally! Who the hell are you? What did you do with Vanya? Stay very still if you want to live. Please don't hurt us. We're scientists. We... Yeah, so was Dr. Mengele. Are you performing a vivisection without anesthesia? 
administering shots of typhus. What are you doing exactly? I really want to know. No, nothing like that. We're not beasts. We treat our patients as humanely as possible. But you have to understand that... Scientific advancement requires sacrifice. <laughs> Other people's sacrifice. You make it sound sinister. But yes, everything we do is for the greater good. How does it work? Are you shooting these poor souls up full of Chernobylite? I can't talk about that. The NDA we signed is very strict. The penalties... Did you just say NDA? Are you for real? Stop being a corporate stooge and start thinking about your own life. Sure, sure, you're right, of course. We started out giving them shots, but that was just the first stage. We're way past that now. <laughs> uh-huh. It was, you see. The fatality rate was... Uh, it didn't bring the desired results. We've moved from administering nano-solutions to directly editing human genomes to enhance them with Chernobylite. We've developed our own Chernobylite CRISPR. Your patients or subjects, whatever you call them. Especially the locals. What happened to them? Which ones? There were many patients here. Some of them didn't make it past the final phase. The others, we don't know. Don't let him dodge the question. Make him talk. Look, please, can we all try to stay calm? Let us explain. Modifying genomes is only the first step. Next, we induce a state of superconsciousness in the subject's gamma brain waves. It's basic neurology. The sympathetic nervous system begins to release enormous amounts of energy straight to the brain via the thalamic gate at the brainstem. When the thalamic gate opens, the energy flows to the pineal gland, and... Well, there you go. I don't like to use this term, but it opens a third eye. A third eye? Right. Then what? Enhanced by Chernobylite, the pineal gland can do incredible things. Release all kinds of energy, and even influence physical objects, as in telekinesis. You're torturing people so they can bend spoons with their mind? God, what kind of quacks are you? This is all following the scientific method, believe me. These are closely monitored, replicable experiments. Anyway, when the subject is ready for the final stage, we put them in an induced coma. Contrary to what you might think, it's for their own good. Explain, and fast. What is this final stage? Our boss calls it communion. It's when the subject's gamma brain waves interact with Chernobylite's mental waves. Or, well, to tell you the truth, we don't know exactly what it is. Chernobylite is like a virus, in a way. It's not exactly inorganic matter, but neither is it a living organism. It's something in between. And it produces a type of brainwave, even though it clearly has no structured organic tissue. Okay, ja, das stimmt. Klingt sehr abgefahren. Alter Scheiße, ey. Ähm, wir fragen mal... Uh, hmm. Well, what's the purpose of this communion? This is where it gets really interesting. You know that Chernobylite can be used to create wormholes, right? You've been doing it yourself. But these wormholes are special. Haven't you noticed? They're not a purely physical phenomenon. I don't understand. What else could they be? We know what singularities and the tunnels should look like. We know what they are in theory. But has anyone actually been inside one before? Bullshit. I've studied Chernobylite too. The exotic energy it contains is powerful enough to create quasi-black holes and passages between them. We thought so too, at first. But think about this. What if there was an organism, or a virus, an entity powerful enough to create its own singularities? No biological organism could encapsulate that kind of energy, or survive if it did. A living entity would be torn to shreds. But Chernobylite is not a normal biological organism, is it? We have no idea what it is. Just try and consider the possibility that the wormholes you're walking into are not something created outside of Chernobylite. They are Chernobylite. You're traveling through the veins and corridors of its multidimensional body. But what does that have to do with this communion thing? Isn't it obvious? We're trying to communicate with Chernobylite, or somehow influence it through the mental energy of our subjects. 
but getting inside this thing's mind or whatever it is must be a truly disturbing experience. You're fucking insane, both of you. You need to stay away from the morphine cabinet for a while. I've heard enough. Okay, krass. Uh, fragen wir mal nach der Leiche, wa? Who's your patient here? I'm not sure, but it... She must have been carefully selected. Selected? How? Did she volunteer? Or was she maybe run down and captured by soldiers in the woods? Talk! I'm not familiar with the selection process. Our boss would know. But we know very little about him. What's your boss in charge of exactly? The entire biotech division, pretty much everything Chernobylite related, but mainly the impact on human physical and psychological functions. Clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats. Hmm. How does this work with Chernobylite? It's similar to a standard gene editing tool. We take specialized protein from a certain bacteria, modify it with Chernobylite and then target the exact genes we want to modify. Wait, I know more about physics than genetics, but CRISPR is usually done on embryos, right? And it takes time, sometimes even years, for mutations to show. Our boss developed his own methods. The process is applied directly in the subject's body. The speed of the mutations has increased exponentially. It no longer takes years, but weeks, sometimes mere days. Marvelous, isn't it? Yeah, really wonderful. Enough. Huh? All I've got from you so far is a bunch of gibberish. I want to see the actual research. Where do you keep your data? All the research data? Check the database in this computer. Everything can be accessed from here. It's password protected, isn't it? Promise not to kill us and we'll tell you. Don't worry. I don't give a shit about you. Password. 23 hash 98 s dollar. Und wie ihr einer bewegt sich von euch. Dann schnipp schnapp rüber. Listen to me very carefully, Igor. This research, this data, it's too dangerous to exist. My people died because of it. Delete everything. It won't bring my mother back, but at least no one will profit from her death and the deaths of others. Ja, ich lösche die Daten, ne? Da hat sie recht. Das ist zu krass, das Zeug hier. Good call. Oh, I knew you'd see reason. Ja, krasse Scheiße hier, ey. Dann würde ich sagen, verabschieden wir uns hier auch mal. Also, ciao, ihr Penner. Puh, okay, die machen echt krasse Experimente hier. Das muss man mal sagen. Also, die Story nimmt echt an Fahrt auf. Gefällt mir sehr, sehr gut. Und ja, ich sehe auch, mit 33 Minuten sind wir schon wieder am Folgenende angelangt. Also, im Moment muss ich sagen, die Story ist packend. Macht echt Spaß. I'm sorry, Holger. Nobody deserves to die so horribly. I was hoping for some good news, but... Perhaps I was foolish. My mother, these people, they were all just used, processed. How could anyone do something like this? Anyway, did you find anything of value? Not sure yet. Bizarre theories about Chernobylite, mostly. I don't know if I want to get into the details yet. Try me. I'm not a bookworm like you, but I'm not stupid either. Well, NAR seems to think Chernobylite is like a giant turtle that carries our universe on its back. They figure they can tame it and ride it wherever they want. Like a pet. A turtle? It's just a metaphor, but the scientific theory behind it is no less insane. Right. Uh, thanks for trying, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Wir haben es versucht. So, also unsere Mission war erfolgreich, Olivier war erfolgreich, Sashko war erfolgreich und ähm, Olga war auch erfolgreich. Also ich würde sagen, wir sind voll gut unterwegs hier. So, alle kriegen die gleiche Ration wie immer, annehmen, zack. Und dann, ja, bedanke ich mich natürlich bei euch wieder mal fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, es hat euch Spaß gemacht und ähm, ja... 
gerne mal in die Comics, wie euch die Story so gefällt. Also wie gesagt, ich finde es schön, sie nimmt leicht an Fahrt auf und ähm, ja, wie gesagt, Ambiente ist auch ein bisschen gruseliger geworden, gefällt mir auch sehr gut. Ja, dann ja, bleibt mir gesund, genießt ein bisschen die Zeit, bis gleich zur nächsten Folge. Ciao.